is an urgency of now. Prime Minister of Barbados, Mia Motley, talking to youth activists on a mission to get rich countries and fossil fuel companies to pay compensation for the harm done by climate change. It's called loss and damage, and it has become the defining issue of this summit. The oil and gas companies are resisting, the wealthy nations are resisting. Can you actually get it done? I believe so. The evidence and the science is clear. The inequity in the world is just as apparent. Justice is simply about fair play and solidarity. Without solidarity, small countries, small people like me can't make it. There was a time when women couldn't make it. They had to come together, the suffragettes, to be able to get the solidarity, to get the vote. The world continues to see different battles come at different times. I believe that this is a conversation whose time has come. The idea is gathering momentum. Africa is, is responsible only for around 4 or less than 4% of the climate change damage. 96% plus is the developed world. They've damaged our environment. But we are not saying we'll take them to court, no, because we're one community. We're simply saying it's the right thing to do. We absolutely have to find the money to do this. We have to be serious. Loss and damage is now on the table. If you look at what's happening to the Global South, it is heartbreaking. But for those pushing for change, there is one large hurdle in the way. The problem is that many of the wealthy nations here at this summit have only agreed to talk about the idea of loss and damage. They haven't actually agreed to do anything yet. They are very reluctant, for example, to open up a new funding facility, preferring instead to funnel cash via existing organisations like the United Nations. Campaigners say that's no longer good enough. We don't have any time to keep talking about it because people are already suffering. Their lives and livelihoods are at stake. Small island states talked about the issue of loss and damage over 30 years ago. So we can't still keep talking about it. We need to see instant action right now on loss and damage. For some, this is an uncosted, unrealistic and unhelpful distraction from the work of reducing emissions. But it is dominating the conversation here and its supporters want to keep it that way. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt.